Hi, and welcome to The Property Show. My name is Nancy. This is the show that is sure to give you an in-depth look into the property market, provide you with expert guidance, trends, tips, and first-hand specialized information on the hottest properties available in the market. There's something for everyone. Paul and Caroline are seeking for alternative energy saving solutions and are wondering what is available in the market. Our big question today is, what is the importance of solar energy? <laughs> hey. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine. You're home already? Yeah, I told you get to a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. You've reached Nairobi very quickly. Mm. I was expecting you in another hour or so. Ah, I think a super highway has made everything easy. Uh, is that tea? Um, I'll make some. Okay. So how are our parents doing? Ah, they are all right. But there's still no connection to power. Do you know they're still using kerosene lamps and candles? Eh, we need to do something. Mm. What are you thinking? I have a friend of mine who works in a company called Green Light Planet. What they do, they sell lanterns uh, in the rural areas. Now, these lanterns use solar energy and they're very affordable. Oh, mm. all right. And then these lanterns have a battery that lasts more than five years. So you don't have to worry about buying lanterns uh, every other month. So why don't we find out how much they cost? Okay. Then we can buy some for our parents. Okay, I'll call my friend tomorrow. Ah, so we just visit the Greenlight Planet offices and see if they can help us. So, uh, uh, you relax, huh? mm. take a shower, mm -hmm. then tea will be served. Okay. Oof. What is the importance of solar energy? Most people are seeking alternative solutions for water heating and lighting. Today we have with us two guests who will take us through the importance of solar energy. I'll start with Mr. Mark Shah, who is the Corporate Sales Director of Solaris Eco Power. Mark will be telling us what we need to know about water heating, solar and street lighting and swimming heating solutions. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Tell us about Solaris. Solaris is a Kenyan-based company. It's about two and a half years old. Uh, our core business is water heating solutions, but we also provide solo, uh, swimming pool heating solutions and street lighting. How does the solar energy work and what is the requirement? What happens, we have different solutions for different requirements. Uh, our core business, we deal with single dwellings, mm -hmm. we deal with commercial properties, we deal with uh, hotels, institutions, hospitals. We have different solutions for different requirements. If I needed solar for my residential house, yes. how do I go about it to know uh, what I require? What would happen if it is a new building or an existing house? We would come, we do a site survey, mm -hmm. we have a look at the consumption. We, normally the a basic rate is 50 liters per person per day. That is how we work out the consumption. And of, of course it depends on the design of the house in case you have a jacuzzi, a bathtub in every bath, uh, bathroom. Uh, all that plays a big role for us to be able to give you a genuine uh, sufficient energy solution. Is solar energy affordable? Initially it was expensive, but mm -hmm. now that uh, uh, the market rate has come slightly lower, the dollar rate is a bit lower. The, mm -hmm. uh, if you look at it, your consumption rate, the energy savings are about 60% mm -hmm. of your total electricity bill. So if you look at your return on investment, we calculate according to that, would be about one and a half to two years. After that, you can enjoy free water for, the, for around 20 to 25 years. Wow, interesting. Yeah. So if I put my solar today, I will get my electricity bill going down to 60%? It has, it has been proven. It has been proven? Yes. Wow. wow. Uh, we've done quite a lot of installations, whether it is commercial, whether it is gated communities, whether it is hotels, hospitals, institutions, and we go back to find out how the return on investment is working. And most of the places where we've gone to, it's always around 50 to 65 percent. Is solar energy only for the high-end houses or can it be used everywhere? Because I, I don't see it in some areas. Uh, what happens here is now uh, capacity comes into play. Uh, there are some houses where there are just two people living, a couple. There are some houses where there are six people. There are high-end houses. So we have solutions for each type of housing. There is the integrated system, which is the tank and the tubing comes on the roof. That is the most uh, affordable concept that we have. Then we have the split system, which is ideal. 
for apartments and high-rise buildings. Then we have the centralized system, which is ideal for hotels and institutions which have single billing. We know that solar uses the sun. What about during the cloudy days? Will I still have hot water? All our systems have backup heating solutions. That means it comes with an immersion heater, a control panel, a sensor, and a magnesium rod. Those are the accessories that come with every unit that we sell. Uh, it has a pre-intelligent timer, uh, so you can preset it. Let's say, supposingly, you want your water always to be at 50 degrees, or you have visitors at night and they've already utilized all the water. There's no sun at night. So you can preset it for it to kick in and maybe 5 a.m., bring it back to the preset temperature, let's say 50 degrees, and switches off automatically. So that's what, uh, that's what we mean by saying that regardless of the weather, you will always get hot water. What are the advantages of using solar energy? Uh, what happens here is that imagine we have an abundance of sunlight in the country. So when you get free hot water, that is one of the advantages that you get. It's clean, green, efficient, and uh, sufficient energy. So I, I think it is a right for every Kenyan. Before it was a luxury to be able to take a shower with hot water, but now it is becoming a necessity. As a developer or as somebody who is looking to buy a house, and if I was going to buy an apartment and they don't have the solar heating, at what point do I engage you to be able to install solar in my property? If it is an existing house, we come, we do a site survey, and we recommend the solution for you. We look at the plumbing, how it has been done, and how we can incorporate the solar to work in the existing plumbing that is already there. Uh, if it is a new development, normally what would happen is while the drawings are being drawn by the architect is when we come in. We engage with the uh, mechanical, electrical, the plumber, and the electrician on how the plumbing and the wiring should be done. Uh, after that, while they are building the building, when it reaches the roof is when we come into play. Tell us about your street lighting uh, solar system. Uh, we have street lighting solutions. Uh, mainly we have seen a necessity on uh, street lighting with the gated communities. Uh, what happens is uh, the gated communities incorporate into the service charge, the charges for electricity for the street lighting and stuff like that. So can you imagine if you have solar street lighting for free? It has different kind of uh, technical specifications. You can have st uh, street lighting switching on from dusk to dawn for six hours, for three hours. All those specifications come into play and the distances between the poles. Where do we get the solar uh, systems? Do you have them locally manufactured or where do you get them? No, all our products are uh, imported. Mm -hmm. They are ISO certified. Mm -hmm. um, all our tanks and uh, panels mm -hmm. are uh, European certified, mm -hmm. uh, they have got the European solar key mark. It is mainly uh, German technology, so we get them imported. Once I buy the solar system and it's installed, who maintains it and how often should it be maintained? Uh, that's a good question because our systems are the latest technology in the market. They are the direct heat pipe systems, so there are no mechanical moving parts on the system. So it's basically like maintenance free, but then because of the quality of the water, we have a magnesium rod that comes onto the system to reduce scaling of the tank and increases the lifespan of the system. So we would come maybe once uh, in a year or once in two years, depending on the quality of the water, because a lot of people here use borehole water. So we would just come, we would drain the system and uh, probably flush out the magnesium rod and maybe uh, replace it, that's all. And what about coasts? The coast, we know that they have different kind of water. Yes. How do you manage that? For the coastal region, we have a special product for that area. Uh, anywhere there is salt water or saline water, we have the ceramic coated uh, units that we sell. Where can we find you? Are you within the country or just Nairobi and Mombasa? Where are you? Uh, we, are, we provide service all over the country, but we are based uh, actually on Mombasa Road, Aryan Center, and uh, International Lifehouse Third Floor. Thank you so much, Mark, for telling us what we need to know about the solar system. Yeah. Give us your part in short. Nancy, did you know that eight minutes of the sun is sufficient enough to power the uh, earth for one whole year? Wow, no? Energy-wise, yes. Wow, interesting. Okay. Yes. Also, I wanted to mention, I like what you asked me. Uh, what we are providing is clean, green, efficient, and sufficient energy affordable to every household in Kenya. Um, I, would, uh, I would suggest everybody that this is the future. 
This is what we are looking at and of course it's going to be mandatory in 2014 that every new development will have to have solar water heating wow. solution. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you again. I appreciate it. We are taking a short break. Please stay tuned. Zuko Hookup. Hook your friends up and we'll hook you up with a free flat screen TV. It couldn't be easier. Just get your friends to subscribe to Zuku and you'll get that flat screen TV. No draws, no competition, just guaranteed TV prizes. Start hooking up your friends today. See press and posters for details. Zuku, amazing. Yeah. Welcome back to the property show. My second guest is Mr. Lawrence Frisco who is the Global Partnership Advisor with Greenlight Planet. Lawrence will be taking us through solutions for affordable lighting. Welcome, Lawrence, and thank you for coming. Thank you, Nancy, for having me here. Tell us about your product. All right, we produce solar lanterns, specifically produced and designed for rural areas. That means they are super affordable, very high quality, and they pr provide a way better brightness than you are used to with kerosene lanterns or candles. But we also see a lot of people using them in urban areas. For example, when there are pow power outages or when people move around at night, we see a lot of ladies taking them in their purse at night to be safe. And um, so we see a lot of different usages of our product. 